Hello friend, welcome back. Um, so last time we created the code to draw our chessboard, right? Now let's do some refactoring to make the code more elegant, more professional. Okay, so this is the code to draw our uh, 8x8 chessboard. Let's create a function for that. Mm -hmm. um, what I want to do is I want to create a function to draw a single square, okay? So let's define a method here. Private um, VOID draw well, so the parameters, mm -hmm, location, right? So int colon int row and uh, color, right? So what is the color? Um, we can use a uh, boolean like uh, light color okay light color like that so um, oh we needed to pass in this guy this guy we need that to draw our um, our square now we can make a copy of that Put it here. Oh, so we need to set up the color here. We can use the ternary here. So e like if oh no 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 um if it's light if it's light right. If it's light, we'll use that color. Otherwise, we'll use color dot uh, gray. Like that. This is same as if this is same as like if light. Oh, sorry for that. We need a uh, if we need a uh, parenthesis, if this line now, yeah, if that else, something like that. If it's light, we we do that. Otherwise, we do this, right? So we can use this ternary thing, right? To simplify the code a little bit. So instead of five lines, we only need a single line like that. Yeah, but they are equivalent, exactly the same. So remove that. So here is column and this will be row, right? Like that. Now let's try to use it. Uh, let's try a gray. If we run it now, nothing will change, right? Because we haven't used our function. Yeah. So now Let's try to call it. Say if we comment out, um, like if we comment out this part, okay? We'll have um,
Oh, yeah, some of the white squares missing, right? Okay, now let's see if we can use our new function call draw square like that. So yeah, G2, next one column is our I, this one, right? Two times I, two times I, okay? So two times I, row, row is two times J, okay? Two times J, and uh, is it light? Yes, true, right? Let's see. Run it. Yeah, it works. So now let's do the same thing for the this one, the second part. So make a copy of that. And let's come out this first, just to see what is missing. Yeah, the square row, uh, the the white squares are on the second row, the fourth row, the sixth row, and the eighth row, right? Now let's try to fix that with our new function. So one plus two i. Okay, so here is one plus two times i. Here is one plus two times j. Okay, one plus two times j. That. Try it. Yes, it works. Okay, now we can get rid of that. So we'll use the similar strategy for the gray part. Right? Then common out those two things. So here important, right, is false because it's not light color is dark color now what about the location is 1 plus 2 I here okay 1 plus 2 I here and 2 uh, J here yes and 2 plus I, 2 times I here and 1 plus okay I think that's it Run it. Nothing, right? It's missing. Cool. So now let's clean up. We don't need the color thing, right? Because it, it is already handled inside our draw square function. Test again. Run it. Yes. What else? We can merge these two for loop, right? We can merge that, right? How can we do that? Remove that. Ta -da! And uh, can we make this one looks better? Just make sure it works first. Okay, now, yeah. Let's make it um, line up, okay? So here we put the zero plus, yeah, zero plus, here, zero plus, so zero plus, you see? Now, oh, what is the end here? No, like that. So now the pattern, right, is explicit here. Very good. Let's do the last try. Oh, we can move out this with, and uh, put it into another private function, like draw board, right? Um, we still need this guy.
Now let's cut and paste it here. We can call it and draw four G two. Okay, save. Now here, right in entry point, is very clean. Draw board. Uh, run it. Cool. Ta-da! Thank you for watching. See you next time.